Soil is more than just dirt. Without soil, there'd be no life on our planet. So let's find out more about soil. Soil is the top layer of the Earth. It's made of air and gas, bits of rock, minerals, water, decaying plants, and tiny microbes. Soil forms in different layers on the Earth. When soil scientists study layers of soil, they call it studying the soil profile. Topsoil is the layer you see, the layer you typically walk on. It contains dark organic material, which is made up of decayed plant and animal matter. Topsoil can be about six inches thick. Under topsoil is subsoil. It's from several inches to several feet thick. It looks lighter because it contains less humus, is more tightly packed, and has slightly bigger pieces of rock. Next is the fragmented rock layer, or parent material. Nothing grows at this layer. It's made of rock particles, sand, clay, salts, and minerals. At the deepest level is solid bedrock. This is the layer of rock from which soil begins to form. Soil is created over lots of time. Rocks form when volcanoes erupt or when sands get compressed. Weathering from wind, ice, and rain breaks rocks into smaller parts. Plants grow in the cracks caused by erosion, creating more holes for air and water. They also drop leaves, which decay. Animals leave waste products behind. Bacteria and fungi help break down dead plant and animal materials into smaller pieces. These combine with rock particles to make soil. Now there are different types of soil. The type depends upon the original parent material, how big the rock particles are, the climate, and what else is in the mixture. Clay is the smallest soil particle. Clay clumps because it can hold water better than some other types of soil. Silt is powdery and soft to the touch and retains water well. Sand is the largest soil particle. It is the least resistant to weathering. Loam has the best soil for growing plants. It is an even combination of sand, silt, and clay particles with organic materials. There are over 25,000 different named soils in the United States. Soil scientists are trained to be able to identify different types of soil and what they mean for the environment. Soil is very much alive. One tablespoon of soil contains more microbes than there are humans on Earth. Insects, bacteria, earthworms, and other creatures live in soil. Larger animals do too, like badgers and snakes. Soil filters are water, holding back contaminants and taking out impurities. Soil is used in construction and provides the foundation upon which our homes and businesses are built. And importantly, plants need soil to provide them with minerals and nutrients. Soil scientists help farmers understand what plants to grow and how to improve the soil to increase their crop yields. Soil is an essential natural resource. It's food for some animals, home for others. Soil cleans our water, provides nutrients for plants, and gives us a place to live. So learn about soil. Dig in. If you want to learn more, head to the Science Trek website. You'll find facts, links, games, material for educators and parents, and much more. You'll find it all at sciencetrek.org.